right. Hello, everybody. My name is Daniel Crook. I've recently joined the CNCF staff to improve the developer experience for the maintainers, contributors, and users of the growing number of projects we host at the CNCF. And uh, I'm here to give you a warm welcome to Cube Day Singapore 2023. <laughs> All right. And um, I'm very excited to see so how many people are here. I think we have over 250 registered. And I hope to um, talk with many of you today during the event or at the uh, reception afterwards. So cube days like this are very important to the CNCF to meet our communities where they are, particularly for those folks who can't come to the multi-day events, the cube cons that we host in North America, Europe, and China. And uh, before we get into uh, the main program, let me take a few minutes to talk about the growth of the CNCF itself and how the community here in Singapore has helped that uh, expand. Singapore has been an integral part of the growth of open source projects at the CNCF, starting and making it the largest open source community in the world. Starting with Kubernetes in 2015, we now have 170 projects hosted at the CNCF. And those projects in turn are maintained and driven forward by a community of 220,000 developers around the world, including many maintainers here in the audience today that are giving talks. So digging deeper into that number of contributors and end users, there's three companies that are members of the CNCF that are headquartered here in, CN in Singapore. And that includes Code Cloud, Cloud Kinetics, and Cloud Cover. But of course, there are a bunch of other multinational global members that have offices here, including many financial companies that are members of the growing ecosystem. Together with those projects and companies, we also recognize a trio of CNCF ambassadors here in Singapore, including Yang Kang and uh, Sai in the front row as well. So I was happy to meet uh, many of uh, those folks last night for dinner, and uh, hopefully you can meet them as well, because they're key to sharing their knowledge, mentoring beginners, and otherwise fostering the cloud native community here in Singapore. So they can help you join the movement if you're new to it. So beyond today's conference hosted by the CNCF, there's also an active community group that runs events around the year. And beyond that particular CNCF project, there's also Kate Sug, run by Yong Kang, that has many active members growing very fast. And I encourage you to take part and contribute to those events, either if you want to talk about Cloud Native or learn more beyond this event. So let's take a look at the impact of those uh, people, companies, and communities uh, that have had an impact beyond Singapore on the global stage. So Singapore is ranked number 42 in contributions to CNCF project with 2,000 this year. But it's worth remembering that there are 190 countries that contribute to CNCF projects, including giants like the United States, India, and China. So not only does Singapore punch far above its weight, uh, we're expected for its population, we can already see there's actually contributions to some of the more cutting edge, edge projects. So showing that there's a very healthy cloud native ecosystem here. And if we look specifically at Kubernetes, uh, the foundational and original project within the CNCF, uh, is that once we've seen that uh, Kubernetes kind of became adopted by the mainstream, crossing the chasm, as it were, uh, with enterprise technologies, we see even though uh, Singapore developers are contributing to some of the new, newer projects, they're still maintaining um, uh, number 40 worldwide in contributions out of those 190. Um, there are 10 projects that originated here in Singapore uh, that include active developers from the local community. And what you'll notice about them is they are sandbox and incubating projects, not graduated projects, which is an indicator that there's a lot of brand new innovation coming in here and covering a lot of areas uh, to really advance Kubernetes and CNCF that includes uh, data storage, for example, with, with Karina and uh, KubeFS. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the larger uh, trends that we're seeing in cloud native. So I mentioned earlier that Kubernetes had crossed the chasm, meaning that had been, uh, it's gone from an innovative technology for early adopters that is now something that enterprises rely on. And this is reflecting a market shift in innovation where cloud continues to grow built on top of that platform. And what's amazing here is uh, public cloud is only 10% still of global IT spend. So there's a lot of growth out there, and hopefully uh, you can be part of that as well. 
particularly with Singapore, um, the digital economy here is expected to, to reach 30 billion next two years. And that's been growing uh, in uh, need for cloud infrastructure, for data center, uh, for hardware, all the things that go along with the cloud native growth. So what's good for Singapore is also good for the region and good for the world. Um, and what's really particularly interesting is the, the forward-looking um, e-government initiatives that are here. And in fact, 70% of eligible government services will be on cloud by the end of the year in Singapore. So if you're interested in getting more deeply involved in the cloud native ecosystem, I encourage you to check out some of the talks from previous uh, KubeCons. They're all available on YouTube for free. Uh, one of which is really interesting and helpful is the SIG contributor experience one for doing some Kubernetes workshops. A great way to get familiar with that project and contribute to it. And TAG um, contributor strategy within the CNCF has also revamped the contribute.cncf.io website. And what that'll do is provide several entry points. If you're new to the technology, if you're non-technical, wherever you want to contribute, you can go there and learn how to do it. And one easy first step for getting involved in the cloud native um, ecosystem is to take part in our annual survey um, and help us better serve the local community here in Singapore. And if you do fill out that survey, you'll get a, a significant discount on training and certification uh, to build your skills. So with that, let's get on with our program. I hope you have a great event, you learn a lot, and you meet many new friends. Thank you very much.